In MongoDB, a write concern describes the number of write acknowledgements that are required from members of a replica set before an operation is considered to be committed. By committed, we simply mean that we have confirmation that the data is written and saved to the database and would not be lost in the event that the database were to go down. In this example, we'll start with the mobile application. In a standard three node replica set consisting of a primary that will receive all write operations and two secondaries, which will then replicate the primary's write operations. Now, in order for the application to interface with the database, we'll need a MongoDB driver. You can think of a driver as a piece of middleware that will translate operations from the programming language that your application is built in to MongoDB's native query language, MQL. If we define a write concern of one, we're telling MongoDB that we only need confirmation of the operation completing on the primary to consider the operation to be committed before the application can proceed with processing subsequent operations. Conversely, a write concern of zero means that we do not need to wait for any confirmations of an operation being committed by any member of our replica set before processing subsequent operations. The consideration here now becomes one of data durability. Replication of data to secondary nodes is a built-in function in MongoDB by default, but that replication process takes time, typically measured in milliseconds, but sometimes seconds. If we were to suddenly lose the primary before the most recent operation had time to replicate to our secondaries, then the new secondary that steps up to take the old primary's place may not have that data. Now, this might not be a problem for some use cases, like, say, weather sensor data, but if we're processing financial transactions, for example, we would want to be sure that we're designing for higher levels of durability. For this reason, write concern in MongoDB as a version 5.0 is majority by default, meaning that a majority of replica members must acknowledge an operation before it is considered committed by the driver. In our three node replica set here, this means that two of our three nodes must acknowledge the write operation, and in a five node replica set, it would be three of the five, etc. In addition to write concerns, we also have a timeout flag that will allow us to specify how long we want to allow an operation to await confirmation before terminating. This is called write timeout or W timeout. These timeouts are only applicable when we have write concerns of one and above, and are useful when you want to ensure that slow running operations do not become a bottleneck for your application. Finally, there's a journal flag that, if enabled, will require confirmation of a write to MongoDB's on-disk journal for commit acknowledgement. The journal in MongoDB is an additional mechanism that allows the storage engine to run checkpoints that add more protections for data durability. To summarize, Lower write concerns generally mean faster operational throughput, but with lower data durability. And higher write concerns generally mean slightly slower operational throughput, but with higher data durability. In the latest version of MongoDB, the default setting is majority, providing higher data durability as a priority. However, end users are still able to change these settings if desired. Which write concern is best for you is highly dependent on your workload and what you are optimizing for. That's all. Thanks for watching.